There are three reasons why I try to make prayer a priority each and every day. The first reason why I try and make prayer in the morning a daily activity is because it sets the tone for my day. And do you know what that tone is? It's putting my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ first. Normally, the last thing you think about before you sleep and the very first thing you think about when you wake, that is a great indication of what is closest to your heart and mind. And so, if the last thing I think about before I sleep is prayer, and the first thing I think about in the morning is prayer, then I know that I'm on the right track. I am setting my eyes on things above and not on things of this earth. I am setting my eyes on Jesus Christ and not on any worldly things. Now the second reason why I try to make prayer a priority each and every morning is because I am human. I get distracted. I get preoccupied by things. I get carried away at times. And so if I don't fight to pray first thing in the morning, then I risk being so fixated by the day's activities that I end up forgetting to pray or procrastinating and saying, I'll pray later. I'll pray when I get home. I'll pray before I sleep. Do you see what happens? The day will go by and I wouldn't have been able to find a few moments to talk with God. So this is why I have to make it a priority to pray each morning so that it doesn't become something I do begrudgingly or in a rush, but rather I give God the best of me while I'm fresh in the morning. And finally, the third reason why I try to make prayer a priority each and every morning is because it's by the grace of God that I am able to even see another day. Many people around the world went to bed the same night as I did, but many people never woke up. So if I don't at least take the time to say, thank you, Lord, I can feel the Holy Spirit tugging me in my spirit and asking me the question, aren't you grateful? Aren't you grateful that God's mercy kept you throughout the night? Aren't you grateful that God's mercy woke you up with the strength in your body, with sight in your eyes, with limbs that function? Aren't you grateful? So saints, it's not a cool thing for me to say I pray every morning. It's not a status symbol about how spiritually sound I am, no. I prioritize daily prayer in the morning simply because there are too many reasons for me not to. God's too good. He's too loving and merciful for me to just start my day without even acknowledging His amazing grace and goodness. Now let us pray. Father, You alone are worthy of my adoration each and every day. Give me a passion to seek you, Lord. Give me a passion to hunt for your presence. The last thought in my mind before I sleep should be you. And let my first thoughts each and every morning be you. I submit to you and align my spirit to your will and purpose for my life. Open my ears so that they will be sensitive and receptive to your voice, Lord. I pray that your word would not depart from my mouth, but instead I will read and meditate on it day and night so that I may be careful to do everything in accordance to your will. 
May the Holy Spirit help me to keep seeking things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Help me, Holy Spirit, to set my mind above and to keep focused on everything related to the kingdom of God. Help me not to conform to the things of this world. Help me not to be distracted by things that are on the earth which only have temporal value. And for me to even do this, Lord, I need your supernatural strength. And so I declare that you, Lord Jesus, you are my source of strength that leads me to overcome the devil. You, Lord Jesus, are my source of strength that leads me to walk in victory. You are my source of strength that leads me to defeat sin. You have said in your word that in the last days you will pour out your spirit on all flesh. And so I welcome you, Holy Spirit. I invite your presence to encamp around me and to fill me. Help me to realize the promises of God, promises for peace that surpass human understanding, promises of a sound mind, promises of protection. I pray that you would move with me, Holy Spirit, walk with me and speak to me. Be the still, small voice that guides me and leads me. Lord Jesus, you are ever faithful. You are my hiding place. At this present time, I ask for your protection and covering over my life and over my family's life. You are a God who is faithful to deliver those who trust in him. I cast all of my cares and worries to you. I surrender it all to you because you are a God who neither sleeps nor slumbers. There is none like you. Father God, I pray that I may have a closer walk with you. May I have a deeper relationship with you. Not only that, Lord, but I pray that I may walk in the spirit so that I will not fulfill the work of the flesh. I pray that I might walk by faith and not by sight. My prayer, Lord, is that I may live in a way that honors you, that pleases you. My hands are lifted and my heart is bowed, and I say thank you for your grace and mercy. Give me peace, Lord, even if there is chaos and trouble all around me. Let my heart not be afraid, for my God is a consuming fire. Let my heart not be afraid, because greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. When life is turbulent, my soul will not be shaken. My soul will not be moved, because my God is a way maker. I bless your name, Father for the grace and peace which you have multiplied in my life and over my family. I am grateful for your love and grace which has transformed my life. I only pray that my life will be an example, a living testimony of your grace, mercy, and favor. Thank you for your never-ending mercy. Thank you for your amazing grace. Thank you for hearing my prayer. I will trust in you and in your word forever, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.